Listen, this stuff isn't just coming. It's already here for you as a DoorDash Dasher. Here's the thing. Listen to this. In just two weeks, the company's leadership team is going to tell us what's going on at the company, the most recent updates. But I've been tracking this for you, what they're actually saying, reading between the lines here, and what I anticipate they're going to focus on for you in the next two weeks when we hear that update. Firstly, how is it out there for you, Dashing? Let me know, comment down below. Is it, let's think of this, is it the same? Is it mm, slower or is it better as far as what? How busy you are, the orders that you have to choose from, are they like worse, are they better? And ultimately the hourly pay and the per mile pay. Let me know how it's been. Because unfortunately, one of the key metrics we're tracking here over these different quarterly calls in Q3 of 2022, DoorDash highlighting, is it a surprise to your reduced costs? Talking about how the total Dasher costs per order declined quarter over quarter and year over year, this Q3 2022. So those costs going down, which included the Dasher acquisition costs. So any early on bonuses, sign up bonuses, referral bonuses, and early guaranteed pay there. General Dasher pay has also gone down this again, Q3 of 2022, and the total just cost of Dasher benefits. I'll give it to DoorDash. I mean, let me know if you can argue with this, if you disagree, but I don't think any other side hustle platform or app, like the major ones, right, are doing as much development of new features and opportunities like DoorDash. So here, Q4 of 2022, they're really starting to lean into new verticals here, citing omni-channel commerce here. And then most recently, Q1 of 2023, I'm telling you, this is something I've been tracking through 2022 into 2023 for you, all these new verticals. So looking at different non-restaurant categories, convenience that they initially started in 2020, grocery, alcohol, pets, flowers, beauty, and retail. Now I guarantee this next part is gonna be pretty contentious and I'm just providing you the info here, okay? Don't take it out on me. This is just what DoorDash said and it's interesting because this is internal data also from the most recent Q1 2023 earnings call. So this is fresh data, but they're saying 89% of Dashers surveyed, 67 plus 100 US Dashers surveyed here. Simply, are you satisfied with the overall experience as a Dasher? 89% said satisfied. And I know if you're watching videos like this and hopefully you're subscribed, if you're not, consider subscribing. If you are, thank you. At least can you like the video as well? I would appreciate it. By the way, quick heads up for you. You need to be tracking your numbers here if you have a side hustle so you can see if this actually makes sense mathematically and business-wise with a profit margin. We just updated our popular earnings tracking spreadsheet, now with visual charts and markers. So hey, if you're a visual learner like me, it's gonna help you out. So not only will you get access to a complete suite of resources to track on that Excel or Apple numbers sheet, but now you can translate some of the most important metrics separately on separate visual charts as well. And as always, most all is auto calculating. Just come back from your shift, punch in your info and watch it auto calculate. Get that earnings tracking spreadsheet at the current price for just 48 hours. Go to your drivermike.com or linked down below. Yeah, I understand if you're more invested and if you're doing more hours or certainly if you're doing this stuff as a full-time hustle, you're like, I'm not really sure if I'm satisfied. <laughs> But at least look at this from the same Q1 2023, DoorDash is saying, hey, we're adding new verticals. And what this chart is showing, the longer these new verticals, maybe a grocery store, right? Maybe a convenience store, whatever it is, maybe CVS, Walgreens, right? So the longer that these new verticals are on the platform, you can see five, 10, 15, 20 months respectively, the more orders they're getting. And then that coupled with all of the other order options and new features coming in 2023 and beyond. So let's talk about that. So what do I anticipate coming in two weeks when we listen to the DoorDash Q2 2023 earnings call? I fully anticipate they're gonna highlight Dashers again. Now that's specifically in their letter to investors. DoorDash got rid of that, I think Q1 of 2022, if I'm remembering correctly. But that letter highlights just that, developments for investors. That's what this call focuses on. And it had Dashers, merchants and consumers 
consumers. And then they got rid of that Dasher section entirely and they just recently brought it back. So thank you, DoorDash, for doing that. Now, in that, I'll be honest, I still anticipate cost cutting because, again, this is investor focused here. So if there's any cost cutting, we should see it detailed in that Dasher section. At large, I think they're going to continue to field questions about their Volt acquisition. That's more international. But if you're an international Dasher, that might help you out there. New verticals as well. I believe we're going to continue to see that. And listen, if you want to focus on restaurant, like strictly food delivery only, that's fine. But I've been saying this for what, like three quarters now, and it continues to kind of show evidence and prove itself here that we're going to keep seeing more of the convenience, the dash marts and retail and maybe the package returns as well anything that is non-restaurant. But something that I've been tracking closely that's still in the very small pilot, just three marketplaces, I just checked here, they haven't expanded their support page, is that Dasher Rewards Program. That's the tiered program that's heavily, unfortunately, I'd say, based on acceptance rate, that is going to replace completely, it's gonna replace it, Top Dasher and Priority Access if this comes to your marketplace. I anticipate that's gonna expand. If not in Q3, I fully expect it's gonna expand in Q4. Maybe not nationwide. If they do it, I wouldn't be necessarily surprised, but I think they're gonna go a little bit slower and keep it in the beta for Q3. Then maybe some more expansion in Q4, depends how it goes. Because remember, some of these programs like Top Dasher and Priority Access, they start as a beta and it's like hey we're gonna do this until whatever september of 2022 and some of those programs like priority access and some others i'm trying to remember here were extended and are still extended indefinitely and became basically the status quo i'm really hoping that the dasha rewards program with a gold platinum and what silver dashers I'm hoping that doesn't become the norm. I don't love that it is almost walling off, I'd say, the highest paying orders. Let me know if you agree with that. And I'm saying walling it off because if you don't try to get 50% acceptance rate or 70% and then like whatever it is, a 95% completion rate for platinum, then you're fourth in line for access to the highest paying orders. So to summarize, I think we're gonna see some general numbers for dashers still, unfortunately, at least on their letter to investors. I'd like to see some newer metrics because they continue to kind of cite the same things for dashers. And I don't think during that call we'll hear really about the Dasher Rewards program, especially because it is just in that three market beta right now. But let me know what you think. And I'll certainly report back to you and get you a whole summary video when we do hear that call in just two weeks.